Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to create a basic weapon switching script and pickup for that script in Unity 3D Engine. So this is by no means the best way to do it. I mean, it works fine though. Which just worked for me. If you know a better way, post it in the comments or whatever. So I'm just gonna get started and so I'm just gonna quickly throw it on a plane so we have something to work with. We'll add a uh, a directional light. Just for the sake of it. Let's throw that out of the way. So then we're just gonna wanna put down a first person controller as like a test bed so that we have person to control that will pick up this stuff and whatnot. So for this part we're gonna add the actual like objects you want to be switching with since for the purpose of this tutorial I'm just gonna create like, a sphere and a box and a capsule I guess. You can use whatever you want, whatever prefabs it has to be a prefab. So let's put down a cube. I'm just gonna scale it up so it looks cooler. Looks like a giant stick maybe. And then you wanna position it. Looking at the game view, you wanna position it so that it is looking like what you would want to have it see like when you're playing the game itself. So like that looks good. So that when you're playing the game, that's like what you see. So then you can throw down put that in the main camera so that it follows you around. See now when you play it. You'll see how it like follows you around. Because before, if you just put it in the actual first person controller, it would be all screwed up, and like you don't want that because it won't go up and down with you. It will only like turn, but it won't go up and down because it's only following the cube, the little s s capsule thing right there. It's not actually following the camera. So you want to put that in the camera, and then we also want to add a cube, not a cube. We want to add a sphere. So that'd be like a ball or something, whatever. Just position that same way you want it. Right in front of the camera so you can see it like that. It looks good. Toss that in the main camera. So that will follow you around. And then we'll add a capsule, I guess. Yeah, a capsule. Then we'll rotate that. Whatever. Toss that right there. Put it on the main camera. Alright, so um, now we have those, we can just straight up begin. Alright, so we're just gonna go and create a new script. Call it Weapon Select. Select. And then open that up. So, what we're gonna wanna do is create it so that when when you hit either one two or three it will s select that child in the main camera as children so if you hit like one it'll select child with child zero so you get the capsule hit two it'll select child one so you get the cube hit three it'll select child number two which is a sphere since you're starting at zero so zero one two so that might be confusing, I'll just do that out so you can see what I mean. So, we want to start, so, let's just do it so when it starts, when the script starts, we get a, uh, it will immediately switch weapon to number zero. Because that's the topmost one, so you'll immediately start with the capsule. Say you wanted to start with the cube. You can just switch weapon one, but we'll just start with the capsule. And then we want to have it so that you can use the num keys though, because that's just immediately. So function update if input dot get key down one. So that is if you hit the number one key, not on the numpad on the number bar thing, I don't know what you call that. Oh, we need another. And that is uh, not on the numpad, that's on the uh actually it might work on the numpad, I don't think so. But that's on the number bar. 
So if we get number key down, then we want to switch weapon to zero because that is like our first weapon. Else, if input dot get key down is two. So if we hit two, we want to switch weapon to number one. Else if input that you key down is three, so if we get three, we finally want to switch to the second one, like so. And then just move that up. So then now we still have to create the switch weapon function, but that's just we'll do that right now. So, but what it does is, so if you hit key one, it will call the switch weapon function with the parameter zero so let's do that right now so function switch weapon and then since we want to take in set parameter so we can just do index we'll call it index and call it whatever you want int let's type int and then so so you take in the number and then what we want to do is have a for loop so that it will loop through the children until it finds the child of said index so like capsules child zero so you input zero and then it'll loop so it'll only take one loop so it'll be f zero I mean this way you can have it have as many as you want you can just say you want to add a whole other weapon instead of taking it that you put another one in the main if you put another weapon here you can just go boom just do like add another one of these whatever and then have it switch weapon three and then you don't have to do any changing. It will automatically do that. So this is why it's easier. So I just want to do like four I there there equals zero. As long as I is less as as long as I is less than the child count. So transform dot child count. Because as long we want it to be all right. It's Case. So as long as the uh, like counter is less than child count, the total number of children, and we can continue to loop. And then we want if i is equal to index. So then if said child, and then we continue, and then so then if i which will be at one is equal to the index then we want it to get the child child i so we can do transform dot get child i dot game object dot set active recursively is true Ooh, that's, a, that's a comma right there alright so then right now and then let's do the else one so then else so if it's if what we chose and the one that we want to select we wanna we wanna transform we want to set that one to set active to false so that it's not active. I'll explain this more as soon as I finish typing this. So it's just an old my brain child. Child, child. Get child. So it starts off when you first start. It will this, it will switch weapons. It will call this function with index zero, so that so function start will switch weapon to zero. So that when you first start, it will call function switch weapon with index zero as here. So you call it index will be equal to zero. 